Hello, good afternoon. Uh, hello. Yeah, can I see your face? Okay, there you are. So I'm very happy to see you again today. So by the way, my name is Teacher AM and I've been teaching online for two years now. Okay, but here in Panta though, I think this is my... I started since November last year. Okay, so I'm 22 years old. I graduated Bachelor of Science of Business Administration, major in Financial Management, and... My hobbies are reading books and traveling. So what about you? Can you please introduce yourself? My name is uh, Ho. I'm uh, 16 years old and I'm, uh, I'm studying uh, in high school. Uh, I am, my hobby is uh, play basketball and uh, uh, listen to music uh, and uh, my uh, my favorite subject is uh, math and uh, sport oh wow that's interesting okay so what genres do you listen do you like when it comes to music what are your genres when it comes to music or what type of music do you like um, i like uh, edm and uh, um, k pop k pop you mean korean music uh, yes Oh, wow. Okay, so what about K-drama? Are you fond of watching K-drama? Um, not. No? Uh, no. Yeah, because, you know, I'm not so fond of Korean music, but I listen to them because I really love watching K-dramas on my free time also. Right now, I'm watching a hospital playlist. Yes. Okay. So now, uh, thank you for introducing yourself. So we're going to start our lesson. So this is preliminary English test 2. Then we're gonna have reading test 2. Okay, so you are expected tonight to read okay so mm, before we start our lesson okay so do you have something to ask me about myself or do you have other questions regarding myself no no <laughs> okay great so here can you see my screen clearly uh, not not really not clear. Okay, usually uh, it took 5 to 10 minutes until my screen will become clearer. Yeah. Okay, so this is our first time to meet. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so here in part 1, you will get 5 points if all your answers are correct. I want you to look at the text in each question and you answer the question, what does it say? Or what is the meaning for every text? You can mark the correct letter A or B or C on the screen. Okay, so if you, if you still can see it clearly, I'm going to send part 1 to you via Zalo. Okay, so before we start with part one, let's learn first the words from our vocabulary. I want you to repeat after me. You say receipt. Receipt. Yeah, what is, what is receipt? Home. Uh, it's like uh, this. What? Uh, receipt. Yeah, a receipt. What is a receipt for you? 
Okay, so this is the picture of a receipt. Okay, can you please describe what is a receipt? Uh, receipt means uh, like a paper of a lot of stamp to, uh, to do something. Okay, yes, it is a piece of paper on which the things that you buy in a certain maybe company or in a restaurant that you pay for are listed with the total amount paid and the prices for each. So that is a receipt. Yeah, for example, if you if you eat at a certain restaurant, then after you eat, you will say, okay, I want my bills okay you will do this sign to the waiter if you want your bills then after you pay that one they will give you a receipt yeah listed there are the food that you ate or that you bought in that restaurant and also the total amount okay so do you understand whom okay next we have blanket can you please say it again a uh, blanket. Yeah, blanket. What is a blanket? Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's um, uh, uh, it's something like uh, it's, it's a thing in the bank. And, uh, I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But I can see that you have an idea what a blanket is. Okay, so that will count. Okay, so blanket is a covering made of clothes. Okay, this is a picture of a blanket. It is made of clothes that is used especially on a bed to keep you warm. You use this one when the weather is very cold. Yeah. Okay. So next, we have switch on and switch off. Can you please read this one? Uh, switch on and switch off. Yeah. Switch on is the opposite of switch off. Okay. So what is switch on and switch off? Switch on is the uh, turn on. Yes, you are correct. That means turn on or turn off. For example, your mom will say, Okay, home, please turn on the light. Okay, you're gonna switch it on. Then if your mom will say, Okay, turn off the light, switch it off. Yes. Okay, because the name of this one here, we call this switch on or switch off because this is a switch where you're gonna turn on or turn off the light or whatever. Yeah, okay. So next we have chain. Can you please say it again? Chain. Chain. Yeah, what is a chain home? What is a chain? Uh, it's, um, it's like a necklace. Yes. Okay. So this is just a product of a chain, a necklace. It is a series of usually metal links or rings that are connected to each other in a line and used for supporting heavy things or for holding things together for decoration. So example for chain is the necklace chain yes okay so next we have athletics can you please say it again yes can you please say it again Hong? athletics okay great so what is athletics
Ya, what is athletics? It's, uh, it's, it's a, a competition uh, of sports. Yes, it is a sports, games, and exercises that require strength and skill, or it can be athletic games. Okay, so what is an example for athletics or a sport? Can you please give me an example for sport? Um, running, swimming. Yes, running, swimming. That's a good example for athletic sport. Okay, so now Hong, I want you to repeat all the words from our vocabulary. Seat, blanket, switch on, switch on, chains, magnets. Okay, very good. So now, do you have any question regarding the words here? No. Okay, great. So let's proceed with task one. So this is an example for task one. So what you're going to do here is you're going to read the text or the signage. We call this one a signage. Okay, no bicycles against glass, please. So what does this text mean? Is it A, do not leave your bicycle touching the window. B, do not ride your bicycle in this area. Or C, broken glass may damage your bicycle tires. So what do you think is the answer here, Hong? Sorry, but um, the, the answer I think C is uh, it's not uh, uh, clear. Ah, uh, still not clear. Okay, so this one is letter A. Do not leave your bicycle touching the windows. Okay, so for numbers 1 to 2, I'm gonna send this one to you in Zalo so that you can see it clearly. Would that be okay for you? Yeah, would it be okay for you if I'm going to send this one in Zalo privately? Yes? Yeah, okay, so I am I talking too fast, Hong? No. Ah, okay, so would this be okay for you if I'm going to send the picture in Zalo so that you can see it clearly? Okay, so I'm going to add you in Zalo. Please wait me a little bit. Okay, then we'll send this picture to you. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Oh, I can send. <gasps> Later. Okay, so maybe this one. I'm just gonna send you a picture. Okay, just take a picture. Okay, wait me a little bit. I'm going to send the load. One, two, one. Hong Chan. Can you please accept, accept me in the low? Okay. Then we'll send this one. I sent you a friend request in Zalo Hong. Okay, so can you see my message? Or the picture? Uh, okay, I see. Okay, so for number one, can you please read it? Uh. 
Luggage cannot be removed without a receipt. You must show a receipt if you want to remove luggage. When you remove your luggage, you are given a receipt. You can leave your luggage here without change. Okay, so what's your, what do you think is the answer in number one? Luggage cannot be removed without a receipt. Is it A, B, or C? What is your answer here, Hong? Hi. Uh, Letter A. Okay, let's see. Very good. You must show a receipt if you want to remove a luggage. What about number two? Can you please read number two signage? Uh. Yeah, can you please um, read the read this one? Uh, uh, mess, message Anna Jeff Brand Sukes talking a blanket called theirs. No need to bring program now. You need a uh, you still engines with your tickets. Okay. So for the festival, Anna should bring A, her ticket, B, a blanket, C, the program. Uh, I think Anna should bring her ticket. Okay, so ticket, your answer is letter A? Yes. Okay, let's see. It's letter B, a blanket. Yeah. Okay, so for number three to four, can you see it clearly? Yes. Okay, so can you please read number three? I can I, I I can't see number three. You can't see it clearly. Okay, I'm going to take a picture again. I think it's my internet connection that is not so good or a little bit slow because of the rain cause my screen is blurred. Okay, so I send it to you. Will the last person to leave this switch off the light? Oh my God, what is this? Okay, so will the last person to leave? Okay, wait me a little bit. I'm just going to close the door because there's so butterflies here.
Okay, so for number three, will the last person to leave please switch off the lights? So what does it mean? A, don't turn the lights on until it's necessary. B, switch the lights on when you're in the room. Or C, don't leave the lights on if the room is empty. So what does it mean? Number C, don't leave the lights on if the room is empty. Letter C. Yes. It's letter C. Uh, yes. Okay. So yes, you are correct. Don't leave the lights on if the room is empty. What about number four? Can you please read this one home? Okay. Has anyone seen my own shoe? I took it off before I it's a present for my boyfriend. He doesn't find out it last. Okay, so what does it mean? A. Sally has given a chain to someone as present. B. Sally's boyfriend knows about the missing chain. Or C. Sally lost her chain when she got changed for sport. Number C, and we lost her change when she got changed. Okay, so yes, it's letter C. Very good. How about number five? Can you see it clearly now? Yeah, can you see it clearly now, number five? Uh, no. Nope. Still. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna send this one again to you. Okay. Kindly check my message home. Okay, I see. So I see the number five. What did you say? Uh, assistance needed because of new opening house. Okay, Bye. so what? Yes, apply inside. Okay, so what does it mean? A, this shop has just opened and jobs are available. B, is opening for longer and needs extra staff. Or C, will open late because of job interviews. I choose B. Uh, is opening for longer and needs HR staff. Uh, 
Okay, so what's your answer? What's the letter of your answer? It's letter... What is your answer in number five, Hong? Uh, number five, I choose B. Letter B. Okay, yes, this is correct. So for part one, you got four out of five. Okay, so that's a good score for you. So now let's proceed with part two. Okay, so here in part 2, there are questions 6 to 10. So the people below all want to buy a book for travel. Okay, so on the opposite page, there are descriptions of 8 books. So your job is to decide which books from letter A to H would be the most suitable for each person or people from number 6 to 10. Then for question 6 to 10, you're, mark, you're going to mark the correct letter from A to H on the screen. Okay, so do you know what to do here in part two? Yeah. Okay, so what you will do here is step one. I want you to read all the five descriptions of the people, find out and underline or highlight the requirements of each people. Step two, read all eight texts carefully, underlining any matches between this and anything in the descriptions of the people. Step three, check that the text meets all the requirements of the description and write the answers. Then for number five, I, last step, remember not to use one or two identical words in the description and the text to choose an answer. Okay, so now, oh my God, this is too small. Okay, so let me... Let me send this message to you. Oh. Hong, can you see my screen now? Uh, yes. No? Yes. You can see it clearly now? Yes, it's clearly. Okay, so it's clear now. So for uh, number one, I before we answer number one, I want you to read first the choices. Can you please read the choices? Choices? Yeah, That's letter A to H. Ah, okay.
Okay, so hello, Hong. Can you please read the choices from letter A? Uh, Alan um, Jowett. Jowett, uh, Railway Centuries, Volume 1. Packed with information about 20 British Railway Centuries. This wonderful book is uh, handwritten and illustrated throughout with clear head drawings made by two collectors is for those who are interested in their words. Okay, so how about letter B? Can you please read it? Island Tick Smash, the English reader. Island Tick Smash explores uh, 18th readers telling their interesting stories with his appreciations of them. And same from a past age introduction, each chapter has his explorations movies across the English countryside. Okay, so how about letter C? Can you please read letter C? Uh, Robin's Henry Tinge, the author's book of exploration. This a collection of the writing of explorers through the centuries it describes the feelings and experience of the brave adventurers who changed the world through the search for new lands. Okay, then for letter B, the Travel Club, Dream Journeys of the World, it is a first-hand account of 30 of the world's most beautiful and dramatic railway journeys are found together with specially drawn maps and wonderful photographs that show the people and places on the route. Okay, then for letter E, it's about Bruce Chatwin, photographs and notebooks. On all his travels, Bruce Chatwin took thousands of photographs and kept daily notebooks. It is published here for the first time. The photographs are excellent. The notebooks, both scholarly and funny, will give, you, will give treat pleasure. Okay, for letter F, Automobile Association walks and tours in France, explores spectacular and pretty France with 61 expertly researched motor tours and 114 walks, complete with route directions, super mapping, and descriptions and pictures of places of interest for the traveler. Then for letter G, can you please read this one home? Letter G. Serling uh, Pike, books on French life. This beautiful volume contains 40 wonderful photographs that show the very nature of French life, the perfect gifts for anyone who finds this country as wonderful as Sarah Pipes does. Okay, how about letter H? Letter H, uh, rainful finds mind over matter. The epic crossing of the Arab archives to continue the amazing story of his recent crossings of the archives continued with another explorer in which both showed a great strength, strength and courage. Okay, so now did you understand the choices A to H? Yes. Okay, so let's answer number six now. Robert is planning to travel around the world by train. He would like a book with pictures and maps to take with him on his long journeys. So what number is that? Robert? 
Okay, so what letter is for letter number six? Uh, it's letter B. Okay, it's letter B. I'm going to put here letter B. Okay, it's to... uh, letter B. I dog. You mean dog? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how about number seven, Hong? Can you please read Mrs. Jones? Uh... Number seven. Okay, I want you to read number seven. Miss Jones used to love this Jones, but now she is too old to travel. She wants a book with lots of photographs, which is which will have to remember everything he did. So, I think the books is the books of French life. G. The books of French life. Letter G. Okay. How about number eight? Can you please read number eight? Uh, the Harpers are planning to go on holidays around Europe. They intend to drive their cars and go for walks. So they need a book with maps and pictures to guide them on the way. Okay, so what letter is that? Uh, sorry, can I... Yes, number eight. The Harpers are planning to go on holiday around Europe. They intend to drive their car and go for walks. So they need a book with maps and pictures to guide them on their way. So what letter is that? Yes. This number F. Okay, this is letter F. Let me put here letter F. What about number nine, Hong? Can you please read this one? Number nine. Thieves want to buy a book as a present for his friend Tom. Tom enjoys fishing and driving around England. Okay, round England. So what's your answer here? I think it's B, right? Okay, what's, what letter is your answer for number nine? Uh, B. Letter B. Okay, let me put here. How about number 10? Can you please read number 10? Uh, Peter has to write something for his story. Teacher about work explorers. 
he wants to know about his explorers from the past and their travels to different parts of the world. Okay, so what would be the letter for number 10? Um, I think Uh, is number C. Letter C? Yeah, letter C. Okay, so are these your final answers? Yeah, are these your final answers? Yes. Okay, so let's check your answer. We have B, G, F, B, C. Wow, I'm very happy because you got a perfect score here. That's five out of five. Okay, so what can you say about this activity, Hong? Yeah, what can you say about this activity? Yeah, what can you say about this activity? Is it hard for you? Is it for you or... Uh, not, not hard, but uh, it's uh, not easy. So just, easy. just what do you call this one? Just normal activity? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So since it's almost time, Hong, okay, so let me see. We're going to proceed part three in our next class. Okay, so we will just talk for two minutes. Yeah, if you have question to ask to me, you can ask me now because we will wait until our time will end. Yes. Okay, so what will you do tomorrow, Hong? Tomorrow, I uh, have to uh, go to school. It's not, not a school, but uh, I have to learn a lot because of what I mean. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't hear you well. Can you please louder your voice? Um, tomorrow I will have an uh, extra course. Okay. After school, uh, because um, I in the future uh, I have to uh, have a important test. Okay. To go to the college. Ah uh, yes. So you're sixteen. Yes. Then you're incoming first year college? Yes. So what course are you planning to take in college? Math, Math? literature, and uh, English. Wait, I'm quite confused. Because here in the Philippines, one you once you be you become a college student, it's either you choose you become an engineering student, accountancy, education, business ad, nursing. So what course do you want to take in college? Uh, Not subject. I want to, uh, I want to uh, join uh, marketing. I think. What? Marketing. Marketing. Ah, so you want to be engaged in business. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's good because, you know, Teacher AM is a graduate of business courses. Yeah, and business is, go is really good because every day we can make money out of business. Yes. Okay, so thank you so much for joining our first class tonight, Hong. 
I hope to see you next week. Okay, so I'm going to see you Wednesday, 6 p.m. next week. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your weekend and have a good night. Keep safe always. Bye-bye, Hong. Goodbye. Okay,